use the graphing method to solve the system x plus y equals 7, 2x minus y equals 5. To use a graphing method to solve a system, what we'd like to do is to graph each of these two equations and see if those graphs intersect. If they do, then wherever they intersect is a solution to our system. Um, in order to more easily graph these things, why don't we rewrite them in the form y equals something. So on this first one, if we just go ahead and subtract x from both sides, we'll have y equals 7 minus x. On this second one, to get y equals something, why don't we go ahead and add y to both sides. That gives us a positive y over here. And now let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. So we get y equals 2x minus 5. So here are our two equations that we'd like to graph, y equals 7 minus x and y equals 2x minus 5. I'm going to go ahead and draw a coordinate axis system. We can graph these by any means that we like. We could notice that there's slope-intercept form, so y-intercept of 7, and then a slope of negative 1. If we'd like, we could graph it that way. Or uh, we could go ahead and pick some points if we use x equals 0. We notice that y equals 7, that's this point we already drew. If we did x equals 7, say down here, we notice that y equals 0, and so our line connects these two points. Or like I said, you could use a uh, slope-intercept idea and say, okay, draw a line, slope, negative 1. Uh, similar here, we could do either method. Let's uh, look at the y-intercept, negative 5, and do a slope of positive 2. So negative 5, we go through there. Every one unit over, we go 2 up. Slope of 2, one unit over, 2 up. One unit over, 2 up. One unit over, 2 up, etc. So we're going to connect all those lines. So these two lines do indeed cross. They cross right here. It looks like that's happening at x equals 4, y equals 3. Let's go ahead and check if that is indeed a solution or if uh, maybe our graph isn't drawn very well to scale. Um, so, let's, if, to see if 4, 3 is a solution, let's plug 4 and 3 into our x and y values here. 4 plus 3, x plus y, does in fact equal 7, so this first equation is satisfied. The second equation, 2 times x, x is 4, minus y, 3. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5, which is what we wanted. So this point is indeed a solution to our system of equations.